Good. How are you? I have a question for you. Yeah, what's the question? Is sea level level or curved? What? Got a bunch of producers in the background that want to ask questions. So before you've even opened your mouth, they're asking questions. I know. I don't understand the question. Okay. The reason you've been asked that is because we run a debate show about how people on platforms like this have a religious belief that they're on a globe in a sky vacuum. Okay? Yeah. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So you're being asked, is sea level level? Mm -hmm. Or is it curved? Well, like, is it straight or is it, like, on a globe? Exactly. It's on a globe. So you would say sea level is curving then? Sure. Yeah. But level is having no part higher or lower than another. Why would you think that level would be curving? Everything's curving. No, everywhere's measured flat. Like sea level? Yeah, I know, but like, we're on a globe. So... No, it's measured flat. Yeah, but we're still on a globe. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, shush. Hold on, I'm going to have to shut the producers up. Shush. Right. We're not on a globe. That's a religious yeah. belief that came from the Roman Catholic Church about 300 years ago. And it's just what the Western world kids, if you will, me included, were taught in school. It's part of the Roman Catholic Church's mathematics. A guy called Copernicus invented the idea that you're moving around the sun. That's called being heliocentric, sun at centre, mm -hmm. with us on a ball. But that maths comes from measuring the Earth flat. So up until 25 seconds ago, like most people, and no offence to you, you were under the misapprehension that you were on a ball flying through a sky vacuum and men have been to the... Well, I should ask rather than assume. Do you think men went to the moon? What did you think they don't? I know they didn't. But do you think they did? Yeah, in my opinion they did. Fair enough. You know when you breathe out the vape? Mm -hmm. Does the vape disperse into the rest of the room? Yeah. So if the sky was a vacuum, what do you think would happen to all the gas on Earth? Oh, <laughs> fucking no. Yeah. Would it not dissipate into the area? Would it not disperse? Sure. Well, then, if the sky was space and men went through it to get to the moon, we'd all be dead. We'd have no gas to breathe. I would love to be able to know what you were saying, but I don't. I'm trying. I'm very trying very hard. I cannot grasp that. You're saying too big of words right now. Fair enough. Yes. Let's men take didn't go to the moon burgers. because if they did we wouldn't be able to breathe anymore. Mm -hmm. Think about this. You know when they say they've been to the moon, they're in, like, spacemen suits, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And why are they in spacemen suits? Because if someone that didn't have that on, they would get um, all the, like, everything sucked out of them, and they would turn like into a shriveled little thing right exactly perfect so if they weren't in a space suit the gas that they're breathing would get out of the space suit and go into the space mm -hmm. okay so now imagine that that spaceman's got a camera and he's taking a picture of the globe earth what's mm -hmm. stopping the gas on the globe earth going into the sky vacuum what when the spaceman takes a picture of Earth, what mm -hmm. stops the gas doing the same thing that the spacesuit's stopping? Because um, of the gravitational pull, I think. I don't know, I feel science. <laughs> that's not science, that's maths. So no, science. Gravity's a bent space-time. It's not actually a force. Mm. 
but you were taught that it was a force in school. I didn't learn about space in school. So, with gravity, it's, as mm -hmm. far as you're concerned, a pulling force that pulls things down, right? Mm-hmm. Holds you to the ball, right? Mm -hmm. Does gas go down or does gas go like your vape out? Goes up. So gravity not pulling the gas down then? No, because it's too light. So the gas would fill the space and we'd all be dead, not breathing? There's trees, bro. <laughs> There's what? Trees? Yeah, trees, they produce um, oxygen. Yeah. And yeah, so. Yeah, but imagine now that the world that you were taught in school was true and men were in spacesuits, so the gas doesn't escape from their spacesuit. No, looking no because, at... not just because of the gas, because if their bodies were to go up in the, in like the solar system or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Space. Um, their bodies would shrink because um, there's so much like force and things so that their lungs would collapse on them, um, and then they'd get all shriveled up into a tiny little thing. Because of the because of the lack of pressure. Because there's too much pressure. No, no, because there's no pressure. Because there's no pressure. pressure. Yeah. Their lungs but, wouldn't collapse. So they would that, expand. But that's what would happen to all the gas we're breathing. It would all go mm -hmm. into that black area. Why not? Ask her. I, I, well just ask I can her. hear you, bro. You don't have to ask him to ask me. <laughs> no. Oh, so you can hear me. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what he's actually what, what he's actually saying is that it's impossible to have gas pressure without a container, is what he's actually saying. Can you do you have an example that that of gas pressure without a container? No. <laughs> oh, right. I don't have any. <laughs> what he's saying is without a container, any gas uh. will just spread out without being rude, like your vape or a fart or the oxygen from the trees. It just spreads mm -hmm. out. Well, without yeah. something to keep the gas contained, it would fill what your school taught you the sky was, a vacuum, a big empty area. Well, all the gas you're breathing would just go into that area instantly if it was a vacuum that they travelled through to get to the moon and stuff. So it's not. Mm -hmm. the, the sky's not a vacuum. And they never so went to the moon. A flat earther. Like, are you, um, like it's a whole disk and, like, everything's in the centre. And then uh, the North Pole... Or there's a, I don't know, one of the poles, um, like is around around it, and there's like more shit behind it. Like, like the government doesn't want you to say. I don't know. Not exactly. So all of the maps that you'll ever use use a system that you might have heard the names of before, but you just might not be aware of what they are. So have you ever heard the terms latitude and longitude? Mm -hmm. Well, those are on all the maps, right? That's the grid mm -hmm. that we use to find our way around. Well, what that system actually is, is measurements of angles off a flat Earth to a star called Polaris. So if you imagine Polaris was at the middle, as you described it, well, latitude is just angles that you measure to Polaris getting lower and lower towards the horizon as you go away from it. Does that make sense? <coughs> Yeah. So you can see Polaris there. You go, my angle's 30 degrees. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's 30 degrees latitude. That's the measurement on the grid. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's how all the maps are made with flat Earth angle measurements to stars. That's how Earth's measured to make the maps and make the grids. And make the globe. Shush. Shush. Sorry. You know who you remind me of? You who? remind me of, what's his name? What's his name? Brad Pitt, Antonio no, Banderas. No, what's it's like a character. He's like 
Doctor Doctor Strange. No, it is. It is a Doctor Strange. I don't know. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. I'll something. take it. Maybe it's, you mean Doctor Evil. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my God! He does. Yeah, he's very demanding. <laughs> Well, Dr. Evil's telling you, you were brainwashed in school. You don't need to be part of a religion of a ball anymore. Now you know, Earth's yeah. measured flat. Uh, thank you. Thank you for opening m my eye. Yeah. Opening your eye? I don't know, Mer. I don't know what to say. <laughs> thank no, you for... It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for tolerating us. Yeah, I know you're grand. See you around. Bye. <laughs>